What it do, what it do, what it do, good people. Coming to you live from Taz TV 410. I'm your host, Taz Dane. I ain't gonna hold you long. We had a good weekend this past weekend, for duty weekend. Everybody that came out participated. Kudos, Lake Cliffin. Shout out to my guys. But hold up. I, I ain't even, like I said, I ain't gonna hold you long. I'm gonna hear you talk about this man, Kirk Lee. You see him on the screen, right? I seen Kirk this weekend. I said, Kirk, I understand why you left uh, uh, what, uh, Kentucky Western, right? Western Kentucky, right? He said, yeah, they were. I said, they wasn't trying to let you go, right? So I started thinking to myself, I said, yo, so many of us go through this. So I'm going through, you know, doing my, doing my research thing, and I come up on an interview with, with, uh, with Kirk. He over there on, on a red cup. You over there in D.C. with the trouble man, Kirk Smith. You know what I mean? That's all buckets on that, on that, on that, on that, uh, all buckets of real men on that couch, right? However, they get, he get to talk about, he get to going into the career and why he did X, Y, Z. Why he went to this, went to this school, that school. So I was like, you know what? Kirk, he went to Calvin Hall first. Cause it was it was it was it was stacked down dumb ball. Not saying that he couldn't play, but back back in those days, they gonna go with the seniors and juniors first. You know what I'm saying? So he was gonna sit. He go to Calvin Hall, boom, he do the year at Calvin Hall, transfer down dumb ball. He transferred down dumb ball. He down there with the Doja twins. Check. So he down there with the Doja twins now. The man get a play of the year, his senior year down dumb ball. His senior year down dumb ball. Go to all the tournaments, cook all the tournaments, right? So then he go to the, uh, Western Kentucky. I know what y'all thinking, Western Kentucky? What is Western Kentucky? Well, back in them days, they was big shit. They playing all the big boys. He go to the NCAA tournament twice. Now listen here, people. That was one of my goals. I didn't accomplish that goal. I wanted to make that, that's all, the NCAA tournament, not the NBA, not the, I knew how my knees work. The NCAA tournament, he did that twice. He did that twice. Still went over a thousand, a thousand points at Western Kentucky, right? Check. So, I'm listening more and more. I'm gonna let y'all, I, I recorded the interview, so I'm gonna, not the whole one, but I recorded the interview, I'm gonna let y'all hear from his mouth. But after that, he was gonna go to Clemson. He was gonna go to Clemson, but they wouldn't take his credits, right? So he had to come on home, bring it back to Baltimore, Towson State. Now, see, people, I'm saying this because this is for the players that's coming up. Because if you was a player in my era, we looking at Towson State like, huh? I, I took an unofficial visit to Towson State knowing that I wasn't going to go there. You know what I'm saying? Because nine times out of ten, us from Baltimore, we trying to get up out of here, right? But I'm, I'm showing y'all this because it's not it's, – it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with coming home sometimes. If you're on your grind, you stay on your pivot. You get what I'm saying? The man came home and was in the top 10 in scoring. Let, let, uh, let Towson State to the NCAA. Played against North Carolina. Had a great game against them. Even though they lost, we knew they was gonna lose against South Carolina, right? But he still did what he's supposed to do. But forget what I'm saying. I just like to say, people, pay attention. Your history is your history. You know what I'm saying? You, it won't be nothing here today if y'all don't pay attention to the people that came before us. Kirk Lee, legend in this town. Salute. How? Had to yeah, transfer. Had to get Dumbo. Dumbo. Yeah, what? And, and you fit right in. Man, I went there to Doja. Right Doja twins, Booty yeah. James, my brother, Reggie McNeil. Booty we James crew. The UNLV? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We uh we we came number one team in the country. Yeah. And with the Doja twins, that helped out a lot because they was at Hammond High School. They transferred okay. to Dumbo and they moved from 
Columbia to Baltimore. Okay. So, man, that was a key thing because they moved right across the street from me, and I'm going to Cal Hall. Wow. And I, I live five minutes from Dunbar. So, so hey, who was coaching y'all at Dunbar at that time? Coach Bob Wade. Bob Wade. One of the best. Wow. Damn, Damn, but I'm That's our guy, buddy. That's our guy. Hey, the guy used to tell us, man, you catch three buses, go all the way out to Cavalry every day, yeah. and you can you can walk right down the street with your brother <laughs> to go to Dunbar. Yeah. But see, back then, Dunbar was stacked, so I had to wait my turn. Yeah. So when I my senior year stepping into that, Muggsy was gone, Terrence Chisholm was gone, yeah. Keith James was gone, yeah. so I fit right on in. Shit, we was number one team in the country. I got player of the year. Only bet, I, I, my senior year was my best year. Yeah. Terry Dozier averaged 18. I averaged 18. Mm -hmm. They picked them as McDonald's All American. I was upset like a motherfucker. I said, I just motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> MVP of all the time. Yeah, you play the year. I'm the player of the year. And look, the funny shit was this is the funny shit, y'all. He, he go to McDonald's All American game. Boo Kim, Hank Gatt, all them niggas said, where that guard that y'all had, man? Where that motherfucker had, man? Where that had, man? I said, man, I'm like, man, so when Terry come back from the McDonald's man, he said, man, everybody was asking about you. I said, man, what the fuck you do? You ain't do shit. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? But, you know, you live and learn. So. Yeah. I want to ask you, big dog. So, obviously, all right, player of the year. You, got, you harbor that feeling of not, you know, going to the McDonald's joint on that. How was that process with the with the recruit? I mean, you go to West Western Kentucky or whatever. Man, let me mm -hmm. tell you. Something. How did that? What it was crazy because I wasn't getting recruited. And Calvin Hall wasn't getting recruited. I told you I had one good year, my senior year. So yeah, I went to, you know, back in the day, you go to five star camp, you go all yeah. these camps, and I'm just going. So that summer, I said, man, I got to do something. So uh, I tell my mom I want to transfer. I want to transfer to Dunbar Northwestern. Mm -hmm. No question, was the two schools that do count win, big, big six ten year referee now. Mm -hmm. So I said, man, I'm, I'm no, I'm done all at school. Mm -hmm. So I give the head coach from Northwestern my transcript from Cal and I get Coach Weed my transcript. This shit, this shit crazy. <laughs> the mother's like, what you doing? You gave both of them copy your transcript. That's done. What you gonna do? So I said, man, listen, I'm gonna. Not bad at all. I, I'm going to. Um, Coach Wade right now. <laughs> <laughs> what about I'm, it? I'm, I'm, I'm going to make my decision. <laughs> I'm make my decision. <laughs> right now, I'm going to Dunbar. Forget that. So, as I go to Dunbar, um, they, they tell me the schedule, we travel and all that mm -hmm. stuff. I'm, I'm going to motherfucking like, man, I ain't got nothing to lose. Shit, this is my senior year. Shit, I got to get recruited. I got two twins, six, nine, six. They get recruited by every fucking body. Booby James yeah. on here, Junior, he get recruited. So, I'm like, what the fuck? So, the season start going on. You masked. I don't know if y'all remember the guy named the Sandman. He died. What the fuck? <laughs> they on the day. Hey, tell them to be yeah, tuned in. They on. <laughs> tune so in. Listen, the Sandman tune recruited in. me. At UMass, Calipari, the head coach at UMass. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker said, listen, we, we offer you your first scholarship. I said, man, I don't know, man. I got to take a visit. So I took a visit to UMass. Motherfucker called Boo Kimball, Hank Gatton, said they, they just left here. He said, man, Kirk Lee, we beat, we, we, we beat them down in uh, the Pepsi Challenge at Temple University, okay. Donald Hall. So we beat them, and we lose to Poole Richardson um, in the championship. Oh, not the Philly team. Yeah, I played all the Philly team. Yeah, so we did in the Pepsi Challenge, Sunny Hill, remember Sunny Hill? Yeah. So we had the tournament. So anyway, <laughs> so when I go I visit to UMass, to motherfucking... Uh, Hank Gavin, Boo Kimball, Sandman calls him. I'm in the limousine, just picked up from the airport, limousine. They all got me, I got your man Kirk Lee. He's like, man, Kirk Lee ain't visiting with you, man. Yeah, man, what's up? He's like, man, for real? Yo, what you gonna do, man? I said, I don't know, I'm gonna let y'all know. I'm about to go to Loyola Marymount. I said, I ain't going to UMass. So I ain't <laughs> I'm just doing this because they, that was my first yeah, offer. Right, yeah. right, right. Then West Kentucky come on, Dwayne Casey, rotten motherfucker. <laughs> I, said, I said, man, what's up? He said, man, I'm going to give your mother a little hoopty. I'm going to give you $1,500 for your promise. <laughs> the bag, yeah. I said, I'm the going. Bag. So I had to take a visit to South Carolina. Man, the twins, yeah, listen, I, 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 look, I had to take the twins was already at South Carolina. They were, they were committed already to South Carolina. So we played the ball Marine, never get this shit. We played against the other Catholic League champions. So, playing Cardinal Givens. They had a kid, Rodney Walker, going to Syracuse. <coughs> when our worst went to yeah, Dominion. Yeah, so he, he died. He passed away. Yeah. So, anyway, we be down there. So, one of the Ball brothers who owned all the chicken fillets in South Carolina was okay. like, We got a private plane for you to leave tomorrow to visit South Carolina. So, I fly on a private plane. But, damn. Yeah. 
So I said, you know, I ain't coming this month because I just played with the twins for a senior, my, for my, 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 you know, my senior year done. But I ain't going no fuck. Let me just see what they can give me. How was that? Five hundred. Five hundred. Five hundred back in the day. I'm There's like, a whole I'm, 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 I'm living large. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred. Nineteen eighty five was a lot of money. I ain't know what the fuck to do with it. I bought my girl little high school ring, little dime ring, one hundred fifty dollars. I left West Kentucky. I called Coach Casey. I say, Coach Casey, listen, I'm coming. I'm going to West Kentucky. So Mr. Wade was like, Kirk, what the fuck? You the player of the year. You signing already without even telling me? Right. He said, we can have a big, we can blow this thing up, a big press conference. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know, already signed the paper. Oh, yeah. My mother, Louis Chabet, got the $1,500. I was already signed. Yeah. I was already signed. Like, fuck that shit, man. Back, man. Back, man. Back in the day, shit. Yeah. $1,500 was a lot of fucking money. I said, man, I'm out of this motherfucker. You know, yeah. I'm West Kentucky. Fuck this shit. Then, I already signed West Kentucky, but I took a visit to Kansas. Larry Brown, the head coach. Oh, man. Shit. I'm already signed, but I took a visit. Yeah. Anyway, I said, fuck, fuck it. it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. But I, they don't know the those me, the doses. Take a private plane out to Kansas. That's a dope Ed Manning, shit Danny Manning's father, meet us at the airport. The, 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 the travel from the airport to Kansas City, always 45 minutes. That's a long motherfucking ride. The camp was born as a motherfucker. Oh, it was the summertime. summertime. It was summertime. When nobody, nobody on there. They came to this bar. They, they got our names up on this motherfucking little panel. Come to Terry Dozier, Kirk Lee, and Perry Dozier. I said, man, I'm not coming out. Don't know. I'm, already right. <laughs> don't know I'm already signed. Yeah. 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 I don't know I'm already signed. I just took the video on some B-boy yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I already got that cash in my pocket. Yeah. But it was fun, man. It was fun. That was good shit, yo. Ask your question. The recruiting day, man, was, yeah. was unbelievable because only one year I had it. I, I, yeah. Now, these days, these kids, freshmen, sophomores, juniors, they get recruited from mm -hmm. day one. Yeah. Me, I only got recruited my senior year. Yeah. I got my first offer my senior year. And that's the good thing about the Red Cup was all us been recruited that's similar to what you're talking mm -hmm. about right now. So you did those first two years at West Kentucky? Yeah. How was that? It was nice. Uh, we went to the NCAA two tournament both years. We lost the second round both years. My freshman year, we lost to Kentucky down in Charlotte. Then my sophomore year, we lost to Syracuse on their home court. Oh, in the NCAA tournament. The dome. So, yeah, the dome. So we lost was Ronnie Walker on that team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Ronnie Walker on the team. Yeah, yeah. so uh, we lost them my second year. Mike yeah. Brown. Remember Mike Brown? Yeah, yeah I was about to ask you about Mike Brown, yeah, Brown, man. Jumping, my, but he transferred at that to, to Clemson. He went yeah. to Clemson with Sean Tyson. My yeah, yeah, yeah. Sean so Tyson was a giant motherfucker. That too. Yeah. 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 Sean Tyson was jumping still living in Canada, man. He got about 18 kids. Man, living in Canada. Sean Tyson came with us, right? Well, yeah. Sean Tyson a jumping motherfucker, yo. Yeah. Yeah. Athletic motherfucker. Ain't take, no, ain't take no bullshit out there. Either. No. Nah, he wasn't. Craig, Craig, Craig Tyson. Yo, listen to the last story. Craig Tyson came out Craig with us. Craig, yeah. Craig came out with us. Sean yeah. came out with us. Sean came out with us. Sean came out with us. Right, right, right. Craig came out with us. Right, right, right. Sean Tyson was a wild. Sean Tyson was a wild. I ended up in Alabama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Craig Tyson was a wild. Sean 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 Tyson was a wild. We yeah. had practice, my senior year, we had practice. Sean Tyson, the junior. He hacking motherfuckers. Coach Wade said, I'm telling you, he took a glass of Coach Wade. Said, I'm telling you, I'm going to knock your fucking head off. You hit you foul somebody else. Sean Tyson stood tall like this. Like, okay, okay, Coach. <laughs> well, that shit was so crazy. Because he bought his fist up. He wanted to steal Coach Wade. Hey, Coach Wade right, was like, man, man, yeah. man. Yo was, yo, Coach Wade didn't take no shit off of nobody. He was just yeah. fucking, I mean, this man, he'd take, go home to your motherfucker. Wow. Bring him up here the next yeah. day. Oh man. Yeah, but 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 playing at West Kentucky for my first two years was experience. I got the experience in the NCAA tournament. Yeah. Then I, I went I said, fuck it, I want to transfer. Yeah. Coach Case Coach uh, Dwayne Hat well, Coach Casey left, went to Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Coach Haskins left to go to the University of Minnesota. So, yeah, I, was right. so I was trying to transfer to Minnesota, but they signed this kid, Melvin Newburn. Y'all remember him? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Melvin Newburn. Yeah. Yeah. Big, 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 big job, big job. Yeah. 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 He said, Kirk, you won't even be able to play here. I said, fuck, I gotta get the fuck out of this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So, in my sophomore year, I stayed. Mariano was the coach, because Cliff Hassan wow. left my freshman yeah. year and went to Minnesota. So, I stayed one more year. I stayed my sophomore okay. year. Mariano, yeah. he was at the University of Tennessee, Chad, he coached Gerald Wilkins. Yeah. So, that was, his, that was his claim to fame coming into West Kentucky. He mm -hmm. coached Gerald Wilkins. He's a pro, blase, okay. blase. This motherfucker was awful. I stayed there. I said, I'm out of this motherfucker. Gave him one year. You I'm knew you was gone. Oh, I knew I was gone. Ran the NCAA tournament. You he started, wait. listen, he started me the last six games of the year because he heard rumors. Kirk Lee is leaving. Let's fuck it out of here. I'm out of this motherfucker. I said, man, then he, before I leave, I tell him, I said, listen, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm out of here. He pulled me in the office and said, oh, you know, I started you the last six games. Yeah, you started me the last six games because you heard I was leaving. Right. So that summer, I'm scrambling for schools. I go visit Clemson. 
put my man Sean Tyson down there, Mike Brown down there. They don't take take my credits. They can't get in school. They won't transfer your shit. Wow. So listen, Thanks. only school left was Towson. Academic ass school like Towson. Towson, guess what, y'all? I lived off campus on Towson. Because it was over it was an overflow of kids on Goucher College campus. We stayed on Goucher yeah, College Gouch. campus. D3. Gouch, yeah, Gouch, 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 Gouch College Gouch, campus. Like yeah. Because the overflow of students yeah, that couldn't get room and board on campus, you had to stay on Gouch's campus, which was five minutes away from Towson. Yeah. I still not set out that year. Got to work, in the, work out in the gym that year. Mm. That was the best thing I've had. Got to practice a little bit with the team. That was the best two years of my college, man. I want to ask you, did you even... Did you even have a concept of yourself like, okay, what's the, was the league, was, was I guess, was professional basketball in your mindset then, or it was it, you just hoop, at this point, you just trying to hoop, you trying to. I'm trying to get my whole like, rhythm back thinking hot, money to being a year in motherfucking Baltimore. Yeah. I'm not playing, but a couple of games here and there, little spot minutes here. Now, my whole mindset is I transfer from a bigger school. Now I got to put my name you back. You ready to get a bucket? Yeah, I'm ready to get a bucket. So listen, <laughs> my junior year, I come in the motherfucker. That's so, my Evan Boyd. First my man, Devin, what else? Yeah, 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 my point guard. Yeah. Devin Boyd, I said, yeah, bro. So I helped recruit him. Cook this, boy. I helped recruit him. He went to uh, he, he, he rookie year. No, he went to Walbrook. He rookie the year. I'm the player of the year. I'm 13th in the country in school. Man, I'm 25 points a game. We motherfucking in the, in the second round of the tournament, now conference tournament, they pull boxing one on me. I scored four points. We lose. They playing the conference tournament at Towson Center on our home court. I go to the game. I'm sitting there with my junior. I'm mad about that shit. They've been like, that shit to me. I'm sitting there standing mad as a motherfucker. Pros ain't even on my mind. So coming into my senior year, we play North Carolina. Coach Truex come at me. That's my head coach in Towson. He come to me and say, Dean Smith just said, these are the most scouts that ever been to you. North Carolina game this year. God damn. I'm nervous as a motherfucker. So you ready to yeah. burn their ass Yeah, up, I'm though. ready. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm nervous as a motherfucker. We're playing D at the Dean Dome. Yeah. And Dean Smith come to Al coach and say, this is the most scouts to come to see this kid, Kirk Lee. I'm, I'm, at this time earlier in the year, I'm like the fifth, sixth in the country in school. Yeah. Man, we lose. We get fucked up. Right. I mean, I had a good game. Yeah, so I said, you know what? From this time on, I'm fucking thinking about going to the next level. That bag. Yeah. I ended up. I'm a 12th in the country. My junior year, I was 13th. I was 25. Mm -hmm. Senior year, 26. Play of the year, too. Play of the year again, two times in a row. Yeah. But listen, that year I graduated, they scrubbed the draft from six rounds to two. Two, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Readers Digest yeah, yeah, had me yeah, 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 second yeah. round pick. 89, right? 80, yeah, 90, 90, I'm in Portsmouth. With Gerard Mustaf, who's a sophomore, Tony Massenberg, I'm with all the homeboys, my guys. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck? You went from six rounds to two rounds. Really, judge just boom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This was crazy shit. So I go to Portsmouth. I'm like, man, fuck it, man. Agent like sliding you shit on the door and shit to Portsmouth. So I'm like, what the fuck? I, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to get to the next level. Motherfucker told me, he said, we're going to invite you to the pre-draft camp in Chicago. But you on the wait on this. I said, how the fuck am I going to wait? I'm 12th in the country. I just come. And I went to the NCAA. I took my team to the NCAA terrible, tournament. Yeah. I took my team to the NCAA tournament. We lost to Oklahoma. Time. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And we're going to talk about the Oklahoma game, too, because y'all yeah. was fucking in that shit, by the way. Man, listen. Nigga, y'all was down. You know how we lost? Y'all was down, My too. point guard was the second leading score. Didn't score a bucket. Nigga. You had 30. Really? I had 30, but yeah, my point guard didn't score. Two minutes left is tied yeah, up. Shit like that will happen. That's what I'm saying. Two <laughs> minutes. Hey, Joe. Two minutes left in the game. It's tied up. What happened to Shit like that will happen to you. We had the first 15. Yeah, but then nobody else helped me. no help. I watched that. They put Skeeter. I remember that. Skeeter Henry on me. 6'7. Yeah. 6'7. I remember that. Texas. Texas. The fans were going for it. Hey, y'all. Yeah, right. And the fucking game. Yo, the game was in Texas, Joe. Yo, they hated it. CBS. Yo, the game was in Texas. The game was in Texas. Yeah, it was going nuts, but my point guard didn't score a bucket. That was my senior high school. Yeah. I was devastated. Somebody remember that shit. I, I watched that joint. Yeah. 12 maybe. noon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, wait, no, 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 no,
Don't get this nigga Charlie, Tommy, Charlie Most fucking fucked up. This nigga right here is the guru. Yes, indeed. I'm a guru. This motherfucker be this hot as shit. This motherfucker bald. This motherfucker no. Interviewing me outside under the sun and the trees. He said I lose best two on some shit. I'm like, nah, fucking Kyrie Irving ain't fucking six three. He like blink that shit. I go on the internet. They say Kyrie Irving. I tell you one motherfucker. He be having. I tell you one bet he fucked up on. He said go to state going out the first round. He did say. That. He did, he did say, say that. that. He sound like Max Kellerman on that one. He must have been a Golden State fan. You a Golden State fan? Huh? You a fucking Golden State fan? I said about five years ago. Hey, Slim. So, so 25 points a game, 26 points a game, 15, a little under 1,600 points in two years, Joe. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> so, on the map. so what happened with that Chicago shit? Did you fucking yeah, you on the waiting list? Yeah, go to Chicago. They, they called me. Marty back. Blake, bitch ass Marty. That's Listen, he was just talking to your man. I'm Marty on the Blake. basketball court across the street from my apartment I'm in Towson right. called Kenilworth. Sorry, right, Marty Blake. Motherfucking Devin Boyd calling the hill. Yo, they calling for you. You got to catch the next flight out of here. Hmm. Yo, y'all remember David Benoit? Played at Alabama. Yeah, yeah. Jumping yeah. 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 Utah Jazz. Yeah. No, they Utah Jazz first. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was my roommate. Yeah. So him and Keith Askins, Keith Askins played the Alabama team. Yeah. That's why I hung up with in Chicago pre-draft camp. Okay. So I get the pre-draft camp. They already been there for a couple of days. I get I get there like the second or third day. Yeah. So you know they testing you for a different team. You got to play one on one, all that shit. And I'm doing all right. So now we get five on five. So I'm playing with all these motherfuckers that bigger names than me, and I'm I'm, I'm running point. So now I show these motherfuckers. I want from two guard from scoring points to running point. I'm pick and roll motherfucker diamond. I'm like okay. So now I got sign with Asian. I ain't got no agent. So I get an eight dollar Philly cost a sports pro man, Glenn Schwartzman. Glenn My Scott. agent. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Glenn, Glenn Schwartzman and Merle Glenn Scott. Scott. And Merle Scott. What's your fucking man? Yo. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> so, Merle said, How are you? I had to get an agent. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. like I said, the draft shrinks from six rounds to two rounds. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, man, I don't know. I don't, I don't think. I ain't get no phone calls. So anyway, draft goes on. So I'm at my apartment. They throw me a little party. I'm playing spades and shit. I ain't even paying no, I ain't paying the draft no mind. Draft go on. I said, I ain't getting draft two rounds. Draft go on. I ain't getting draft. Next day, Glenn Schwartzman called me. You got like seven, eight teams interested in bringing the camp. I said, what the fuck? He said, we got to pick the best, best one for you. And Glenn will, he will marry so that I, shit down, yeah, right? So listen, I go to, uh, I go to Dallas. Mm -hmm. They drafted a kid named Mike Isolino, a big fella from Temple, from DC. I remember Isolino. What's the big, uh, big nice kid? Uh, 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 Donald Hodge. Uh, Donald Hodge. Big tree. Yeah, big tree. Yeah. Big tree. Mm -hmm. They draft him. Big tree. And the white boy, right, Mike Isolino. I go up there and bust ass. I mean, C. Smith, I played my ass. So, we, uh, so back then they played at Louisville Marymount. With Dirk Allen in? Out in LA. Yeah. No boy, <laughs> so listen, we played against the Nets. Mm -hmm. Tate George, remember Tate George got drafted? Yeah. yeah. Derek yeah. Holmes, number one pick. Yeah, yeah. Tate George, um, New Jersey had three picks. They had Tate George, first rounder, Derek Holmes, number one pick, and Judd Bush, the second round pick. Judd Bush. Bush was my roommate in New Jersey. Okay. okay. So listen, I bust their ass. They called me, Glenn, uh, we want to bring Kirk Lee into our three day camp before the veterans come in. Oh shit! Once you I did. tore Tate George ass up. He said, "We we 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 bring you on for the." They made a mistake on that one. So Mookie, Mookie Blaylock comes. I'm like, "Oh, this motherfucker!" He said, "This motherfucker steal the ball. I got to put yeah. him on my hip." Right. Get my yeah. hip. Every day I'm playing this motherfucker, making me better. Yeah. But Tate George was nowhere in the picture. The daily great cut. The daily great cut. We play any end the first day. So they they, they saying uh. Got your travel bags in there. I'm like, damn, I'm going to lie. I'm going to make my, my plane ticket. They still didn't tell me I made the team or nothing. I go to, yo, it's a 100% true story. I'm going to lock up. I can't wait to hear this shit. Now, listen, y'all. My jersey number is 41 for trading camp. So all the veterans said, this motherfucker get cut. He's jersey. He a point guard. He's number 41. <laughs> 40. <laughs> and, uh, 41. That's my number. <laughs> Sam Perkins in his mouth. 41. No. So we go, we go to our 30-day trading camp. But during training camp, I'm I'm I'm, I'm backing up Mookie Blaylock. Yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting time. Yeah. Yeah. Coach come to me and say, "Listen, we're playing against the Lakers in Canada." He said, "We ain't gonna play you tonight. We're gonna give him take George for time." Yeah. Now Derek Coleman hasn't even signed with us yet because he know he negotiating his yeah. contract. So I, we play, we play, we play the Lakers. We lose both games in Canada. We're playing like Winnipeg and then Ontario, some motherfucker yeah. back to back game. So uh, we go back to New Jersey. So now it's time to get cut. Niggas get cut. So I go back to my hotel room. Jill Bush already signed. Yeah. 
hopefully you make the team, whatever. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I hope so too. Mm-hmm. So he finds himself a place to live. So we go and practice. I'm sitting there, my put my shit on, put on. So all of a sudden, niggas just start disappearing. You repeat my eyes. He's a sister coach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my nigga. He bought me a coat. We played. We played. Listen, we played Sherman Douglas and them right in psyching them up in Syracuse. In one of the preseason games, right? Because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it was like for, for Ronnie Cycling and Sherman, they played the Miami Heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's cold as a motherfucker. I ain't got no coat. Pete Myers bought me a winter coat up in the circle. That's what he said. Rook, you, you my rook this year. I'm thinking he on the team. <laughs> Get back and cut him. So he comes out to practice. He drops his jersey and go back in the locker room. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> we start practicing. It's your time. So you think it's yeah. your time? Yeah, yeah. we yeah. practicing though. Now yeah. we practicing. At the practice. They say you got traveling bags and everybody that got traveling bags in your locker, you take your traveling bag, whatever, blase, blase. We leave in it tomorrow. We play that first game was the Indiana Pacers. Vern Fleming, now remember Vern Fleming? Yeah, mm-hmm. Man, I'm like, what the fuck? I go in the locker room and start screaming, yo. I'm like, made hey, this shit, yo. I can't see this shit. I go back to the hotel. I go back to the hotel. My Listen, I go back to the hotel. My I'm calling all my home. Yo, I made this shit, yo. I made this shit, yo. Y'all can't believe this shit. I made yeah. this shit. Call my man Devin Boy, yo, I made this shit, yo. Believe me, because Devin came up one day with the assistant coach from, from Towson Terry. Um, Coach Mill, they came mm-hmm. up watch practice. Coach Mill, Coach Mill, yeah. Coach Mill, yeah. Coach Coach Mill good practice. dude. Great dude. Watch practice one day. It's like, Curry, it's going to be hard, man. Y'all got so many point guards. We had five point guards. Mm-hmm. So we started the year off with four point guards. Listen to point guards, y'all. Moe Blaylock, Tate George, um, Lester Connor. Yeah, Lester Connor, Lester Connor. Savvy Lester Connor, yeah. Vet. And myself. When he had one two guard, that was Reggie Biggs. Reggie Biggs. Connor. We had four point guard because they had to keep me. Play the one two. Yeah, but they had to keep me because I was fucking take George up. <laughs> so they 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 was like fucking. We we'll move him yeah, to the two. Yeah. Them motherfuckers knew they fucked up though. I mean, yo, he ain't do Tate shit. Take George shit. All he did was party. That was my nigga too. Yeah. On the road, I hung with Reggie. Yeah, that's right. Kirk. No, Reggie. Fucking take George. Lucky shot. Reggie Biggs had all the bad bitches. I hung out with him every road trip. Then listen, they <laughs> traded <laughs> Lester Connor <laughs> for Drazen Petrovic Sorry, oh, from man. Portland. They traded Drazen Petrovic. That was my nigga too. Oh my god! Because oh, we had four point guard. Yeah, we had four point guard. And they traded Chris Mills, so we got Cadillac Anderson, uh, uh, Terry Mills, and Drazen Petrovic. Cadillac Anderson played one game where they traded his ass to San Antonio. Yeah. Got rid of Terry Mills. Detroit is some shit. Yeah, did yeah. yeah. And when Derek Coleman signed, man, he, he played his ass. So we got to remember his man, too. Yeah. Yeah. Terry Mills. No, they, oh, oh, that's his man, right? No, it ain't. Oh, it ain't. They, they no, Michigan, listen, I thought they was boys. Michigan, but listen, before Terry Mills even came, you know, uh, Derek Coleman said Terry Mills was a player of the year. You know that, right? And, and, and Michigan, Michigan, right, right, right. He played with the white boys. He played in Romulus, Michigan. Yeah. He said, man, that motherfucker school, ain't played yeah. with no city team. School, yeah. So listen. So you harbored that shit. So listen, <laughs> when Terry Mills came, he hobbled me. So that's my nigga and Derek Cole, my nigga. So I got them team niggas together. Because every time we go somewhere on the road, I always had Terry Mills on me. And Derek Cole was calling my room. What you going to do? What you going to do, baby? I said, me, Terry Mills. said, all right, man. So that's how them niggas got oh, wow. They couldn't stand each other. I can't believe that shit. They couldn't I stand they each other. No, fuck shit. no. One from Romulus, one from Detroit. No, he, he said, man, motherfucker, I played, he owed me because so he motherfucker played, played, played them against them white boys. I did not. And I ain't know all that shit until that coach told me. You, you got to give me one patch of story. Funky is a motherfucker. She is <laughs> bad, bad, bad body odor. Yeah, bad body odor. <laughs> He went from fucking Portland. They say, man, yo, you you wipe the sweat on you. You smell like that motherfucker. And he was in you with all the bib. They might oh, be cool. He was oh, in you with all the curse words. Who would do that with me? Yeah. Hey, you serve me be cursing oh, yeah. like Rest in peace, man. Man, before he passed away, man, he was the coolest dude. Shoot the shit out that ball, yeah. bro. Shoot the shit out that ball. Man, what, man, motherfucker? You can't get to speak that, that language shit. He get that going on. Plus, when he hit a couple bucks, he get to going crazy. Yeah. Man, that shit, man. Who, who was your head coach out there? Bill Fitch. They got Fitch. Yeah. Bill Fitch was out here, Coach Rick Carlisle, who's the head coach for um, Dallas Mavericks, who's our sister. Yeah. A guy named uh, Pete Newell. His father was Tom Newell. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Pete Newell, the Newell, the big, yeah. big man camp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his, son, his son was our sister. Okay. And Willis Reed was our GM. Willis Reed was our GM. Yeah, yeah, So you had some serious motherfuckers out there, yo. I mean, damn. That's crazy. We had some, man. We had that team. We really was so excited, man. We lost like 20. So we, we had a losing streak. Sam Boyd, we called the Texas Swing. He never played. Sam Boyd was on your mind, too? Yeah, listen. Yeah, Sam Boyd. We played San Antonio, Houston, and Dallas. We called it the Texas Swing. Roy Topley, 
Akeem, a lot of problem. problem. And David Robinson. Problem. <laughs> Motherfucker Sam Boy was hurt. Problem. Oh, it was pins in his foot which was hurting him. He would never go in that Texas yeah. swing. And when they came to came came east, never reported. Yeah. They hurt. Talking about your shin, your shin is yeah. fucked up. Cause you know y'all have surgeries. Shit. Money guaranteed. Yeah, he, he soft as a motherfucker. Yeah, I heard. We, only one we really wanted to play with Derek Coleman. Because he had he had something more he wanted he wanted to get a win break of the year. Yeah. So he won that bitch. What, what was Chris Morris on that team? Yeah, jumping mother from Auburn. 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 Yeah. Crazy as a mother. In and out though. Young, yeah. C Barbie's Smith. Man, you might you might get twenty out of them. And then the next day, you might even eat motherfucker going nuts, <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, he crazy as a motherfucker. I remember, this is crazy shit. Derek Coleman, he late, he late for shoot around. We go to play Detroit Pistons. So Isaiah and them in the tunnel. So they can't come on the court until we leave. Yeah. So Derek Coleman comes. Shoes, laces out of his Nikes. Boom, boom. Gives Bill Fisher a check. Say, fill it out. I'm leaving. Uh, he was late already. He, said, yeah. he got fined. He said, oh, I'm already late. <laughs> I was drinking with his cousin. That's a wild shit. <laughs> he said, fill it out. Hey, yeah. Joe. That's no, a wild Jack shit. Jack was a wild motherfucker, man. <laughs> Bill Fitz a wild motherfucker. Oh, yeah, too. yeah. Man, we, we, we listen. We in Seattle. I'll never get this shit. We play Gary Payton now. Reggie Theus and Bill Fitz going at it. Bill Fitz, like, that's why you've been on so many teams. He says, that's why you've been coaching so many motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm looking at this shit. I'm never talking to my coach like this. These motherfuckers, ready things, and Bill Fitz going at it. Like, well, that's why you've been on so many teams. You, you, this, you, this, you, that's why you've been coaching so many teams. That's why you never won. That's why you ain't never been a good player. I'm like, this is how they can trade this motherfucker. They never got rid of this. Oh, he played the whole year. Yo, I, man, I, man, Sam Boy cuts Bill Fitz out so many times. Man, I'm sitting there, motherfucker. Yo, I would never sit there. Motherfucker told me to do something. Coach, coach. Coach. Okay, I'm doing it. You call him Coaches, yeah. yeah. Calling by his first name, Bill. Yup, exactly. I'm like, Coach, Bill. Coach Fitz, how you Bill. doing today? <laughs> motherfuckers coming, practice don't speak. I'm like, man, this shit crazy. <laughs> this shit crazy. Well, Chris Morris was a crazy motherfucker. We had Derek Gerben, you with Gerben, little brother, side wine shooting motherfucker, <laughs> crazy motherfucker. Else we had Chris Dully. Bad free throw shooting motherfucker. Yeah. Big white boy? Yeah. 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 Damn it, dog. Yeah. He, he the next. Rocky Ball boy. His dad, yeah, his dad was an NBA legend. Hey, That's he how he was. He was a Rocky Ball boy. Chris Martin, Derek Gurman, Tate George, me, Sam Boy, Derek Gurman. Did y'all trade it for Sam Boo? Was he already there when you got No, him? he was already there. He was already there. He was already there. Okay. He was already there. He was there the year before that. Come and pick up. The year before I got there. You, know? you said Willis Reed was your GM? Yeah. Oh, but nobody liked him. I think I was the only one like him. <laughs> Shit. When he come around, niggas just like, yeah. like say we this group, we just talking. Yeah. We, we, we by the locker room, we just talking. We just go out on the floor. When that nigga come, everybody just go different ways. <laughs> I'm the only one who go and shake his hand and keep going, man. I swear to God, man. They treat that oh, man so man. like shit. And then like in the locker room, the coaches, on the other side of the locker room was the coach's office. So when the coach come through the door, motherfuckers just start turning their backs. <laughs> I'm like, man, this shit's crazy. Man, I learned so much shit, man. That shit was crazy, man. A lot of motherfuckers don't get to experience that shit. No, they yeah, don't. listen, man, the That's shit that I experienced, man, I said, man, I wish a lot of motherfuckers got a chance to experience that shit. Yeah. You, you you get to appreciate that shit, man, because that shit was That's unbelievable, man. man. And you, unbelievable. And you did it the right way, man. Yeah. Like we were talking earlier about these kids reclass. Oh, yeah, yeah. We ain't we, man, about mama, that. Reclass, my mama, tell my mama I want to fail just to fail. <laughs> But, some, but, it, but we, we, we late on the East Coast. We late. They've been doing that shit up in Indiana. All they've been doing that shit. Cool, For a long time, you know what I know. We been doing that shit. 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 We been doing that shit.